hello, hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to seven steps to regain control over your finances, over your money. Mini class. Uh, I'm Milan Lewis, financial empowerment mentor for ambitious and free spirited women. And uh, I just want to start with saying that I really appreciate that you're making time to watch this uh, mini class series because you obviously care about your finances, about your financial life, about your family financial life, and you want to make it better. So I want to applaud you for uh, putting a little bit of time and effort into this um, definitely worthy uh, objective that you have. So, so far uh, we talked about uh, different things uh, that could help you to regain control over your financial life. We talked about the uh, decluttering, decluttering your mental uh, and uh, physical environments so you will, your mind will not be bombarded with constant stimulation uh, and you will feel better when you make financial decisions. You will be more focused, more um, uh, attentive, more relaxed. So that was uh, step number one. Uh, we also talked about the importance of having a clear purpose for your money. So you will you you know what you want to have money for, and then you will make better uh, financial decisions when you have clear financial goals that you're striving for. And uh, last uh, time we also talked about um, repaying your paying off your debt. Obviously, debt is a very um, significant component in your financial life, negative component, because uh, I like to compare debt to poison because it literally uh, poisons your uh, financial life. It's like having a heavy uh, weight around your shoulders. And it also affects your personal life, impacts your health, your relationships, uh, your well-being overall. So debt repayment, debt, paying that, uh, your debt uh, off uh, as soon as possible is a very, very, very important step in um, regaining control over your financial life. And as you know, uh, I offer uh, Unpack Your Debt Bootcamp uh, that could help you to um, unpack your debt and uh, live debt free ever after. It's a very impactful and um, powerful program that I uh, invite you to join. It's, uh, it's not too late to join us for this impact, unpack your debt. So anyway, so today is uh, step number four. And today I want to talk about uh, another step to regain control over uh, your money, which is you've got to track your money. You cannot improve something that you don't measure. You've got to track your money. And uh, I, I met a lot of um, women and almost every day I'm meeting women who struggle paying their bills and basically live paycheck to paycheck, paycheck every month. And uh, I don't know if you can relate to this, but it's very, unfortunately, very uh, common reality for a lot of people these days. And what is interesting that it's what is really important is not so much how much you make, but how much you make relative to how much you spend, right? So that's very important because some people feel like, of course, I cannot uh, put money aside or um, you know have money for, to invest because I have a very small income. And I'm saying that a lot of people with uh, high income, high income earners struggle with uh, negative cash flow. They struggle with that. So, for example, if you're making um, 3000 a month and you're spending 2000 a month, then you have 1000 to put aside for whatever you want to, to do with this money. However, if you, spend, if you make um, 8000 a month, which is good money, 8000 a month, but you spend 9000 a month, then you... Uh, running into trouble because you're basically spending more than you make. So just remember that what really matters is how much you spend relative to uh, how much you make. I recently met a single uh, mom, 
professional woman uh, in the medical uh, industry who was making fairly good money. She was making 5,600 a month. And, um, you know, she considered to be average in this profession that she has. However, she was spending 6,000 a month. So again, she was making, she was bringing to her household 5,600, but she was spending 6,000 a month. So obviously she, her cash flow was uh, negative and she was in debt because she was, she had to borrow from, uh, from the credit card. She, she had credit card debt. And uh, when I spoke with her, I, I, I told her that you remember last time we spoke, we, uh, we decided that you will stop using credit card because that's the only way to get rid of this addiction. And she said, well, I kept credit card for emergency only. And guess what happened when you know that you have a credit card for emergency, you just recreate this emergency. And that's what happened to her. That's how she got, she paid off her debt and then she got back into that because she kept credit card for emergency and she recreated this. Okay. So whatever you might think about the situation, I feel that um, if it's like with uh, any addiction, like if you're addicted to chocolate, let's say, right, then it's not a good idea to have chocolate around. So the same with credit cards, because for many people, it's addiction. If you know that this is not an option for you, you will not get into credit card debt. So I just wanted to share this story with you because I feel that it may resonate um, and with you and probably a lot of you may relate to this. So Anyway, I uh, obviously I don't need even to tell you that you know this this woman uh, experience because she, because her cash flow was uh, negative you know uh, was very um, very sad because she started feeling insomnia experiencing insomnia feeling headaches so basically this um, money situation impacted her uh, health. To a large degree and you know what when you're a single mom you really have to be healthy and, and take care of your of your health so that's kind of a sad situation because it's a catch-22 but the bottom line what i want to say here is that uh whether you have high income or low income the key here is to manage your money intentionally to manage your money intentionally and to do that, you've got to uh, know what is coming in and what is coming out, right? Because you can only improve what you measure. So I have some couple of um, suggestions for you to uh, consider, to contemplate, and hopefully they will uh, help you. So the first one, definitely, definitely, definitely evaluate your income all your income because you know some people have only one paycheck from job but maybe you have part-time job maybe you have a freelance uh, source of freelancing um, so you have money coming from this source maybe you have annuities maybe you have a social security check whatever whatever your sources of income are so make sure that you create uh, some kind of money tracker. You can use uh, personal finance websites. Uh, uh, there are apps like that. Uh, or you can just create a, a money tracker um, spreadsheet. Keep it simple. Like in, in, in my uh, coaching, I offer my uh, clients uh, money tracker so they could track their uh, incoming money and uh, outcoming money every month. So the way to, to track this, just exactly how I explained, uh, create, um, uh, create a money tracker and let's start with um, what is coming in, what money uh, do you have that is coming in and uh, con um, uh, consummate, like uh, summarize all the sources of the income that you have uh, in this one um, uh, register right so so you will know exactly what you get in a month if you have some checks that come maybe um, every two weeks or uh, every quarter uh, recalculate it so it will be uh, applicable for your income uh, monthly income right so if it's if you get the check twice uh, twice a month so multiply by two so that would be your source uh, your income from this source a month 
and if it's a you know a check that you receive once a year maybe tax uh, refund then you divide it by 12 but what is important that you know your income per month so the second thing um, and also what i want to mention is that uh, once you have your consolidated i like to 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 use centralized account for all the income sources that you have and then decide how much you want to pay yourself because i want to pay yourself meaning that how much you want to save first and then you will uh, decide what uh, else you want to spend this money on like whether it's uh, repaying your debt uh, paying your fixed um, fixed um, expenses or variable expenses. We're going to talk about this next. So that's uh, create your um, centralized income uh, register, right? And then um, again, money tracker uh, track your spending, your monthly spending. So you may divide all your categories into uh i like to divide into categories like fixed uh, uh expenses something like maybe mortgage or rent um uh, health health uh, um, uh, insurance premium or car insurance premium your fixed expenses maybe your uh, utilities uh, internet etc so divide into these categories and put exact amount that you spend every month and then create variable um, expenses uh, category and on the variable would be your groceries maybe entertainment um, vacations like if you if you spend uh, uh, some money on vacation for example once a year then divide it by 12 and that's you get your uh, monthly expense on vacation so it's important that you calculate everything on a monthly basis and then very easily you will see what is your uh, what is your net? Because now you have your monthly income. You can start with uh, uh, three months tracking, right? So you will see what is your monthly income, what is your uh, average monthly expense, and you will see if you have some money left or if you're negative. Because a lot of people really don't even know what is their net cash flow because they just receive money and they spend and then they see that you know they may not have enough that much so get in charge of your money flow get control back of your money and then once you identify uh, your monthly income and your monthly uh, lifestyle expenses you decide how much you want to pay yourself first you decide how much you want to put toward your um, uh, paying off your debt and uh, then see notice if you have some um, repetitive trends or patterns um, that you probably could eliminate right i call them money leaks if there are some money leaks that you can eliminate maybe some extra spending that was uh, a little bit frivolous that maybe right now is not and it's not a good idea for you to, to spend money on that, right? So just basically track, once you create this money tracker, uh, notice your patterns, uh, money spending patterns, the trends that maybe you developed uh, from the money habits that you had before and see what you can improve. What can you adjust? Make it into your personal challenge, right? How can I, uh, be more in control of my money how can i master my money to the degree that i know exactly what i want to spend money on what i don't i know exactly what is coming in what is coming out i know exactly what i need to do next to improve my financial standing my my money reality so that will give you sense of freedom sense of uh i'm in control you will not experience uh fear and worries about what if i don't have enough that month to pay my bills because you know exactly what you have and what you may need to adjust right so that's what um that's what i wanted to say uh, basically this this uh, three uh, strategies that i suggested uh, very simple strategies that i suggest you to consider track your incoming money track your expenses on a monthly basis and see if you notice some uh, patterns some uh, spending trends and that you want to change and then act on this on this uh, um, uh, 
information that you discover on this discovery. Act on this. All right. So that's what I wanted to share. And uh, as always, if you feel that you want more support, if you want uh, more guidance, I invite you to join my group, Wealth Building for Powerful Women, where currently I'm teaching every day, unpack your debt, um, unpack your debt uh, training. And uh, I invite you to join it. And I will uh, uh, share the link uh, in the comments of this video. And with this being said, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your uh, resolute to take charge of your financial life and regain control over your money. I applaud you for that. And with this being said, to your health, wealth, and freedom. See you next week.